It's odd to think of yourself as a machine, but in a way, that's exactly what humans are. Super complicated, organic machinery. And at the heart of this extraordinary network of processes is the nervous system, a complex network of receptors and motor pathways that keeps your body ticking along perfectly nicely. So, let's take a look at the merry band that calls itself the human nervous system. Starting off with the shining light of the band lead vocals comes from the eminent central nervous system, combining the powerful tops of brain and that much celebrated baritone spinal cord. Playing the instruments, we've got the peripheral nervous system. On keys, we've got Butterfingers himself, its somatic nervous system. And of course, not forgetting sympathetic nervous system on the electric guitar and parasympathetic nervous system on bass, together known as autonomic nervous system. Okay, I know this is exciting, but enough of the hype. Time for our parasympathetic nervous system to kick in, calm us down, and ready us to discover what each of these players actually does. Let's start with the two components of the central nervous system, your spinal cord and your brain. Your spinal cord is boss of reflex actions. When you touch a burning stove, your spinal cord instantly forces your muscles to contract, pulling your hand away from the danger. So quick is this reflex reaction that your spinal cord doesn't even consult your brain for its input. The brain is involved in a lot of other processes though. It's quite the busy bee. Anatomically, your brain is split into sections, or lobes, which specialize in different processes and tasks. Working away from the front of the brain, we have the aptly named frontal lobe, powerhouse of higher order functions such as planning and reasoning. In the upper backside of the brain, your parietal lobe integrates information gathered from your physical senses and plays a major role in spatial awareness. At the very back of the brain, you'll find your occipital lobe, key for dealing with visual information. And in front of that, in the lower section of your brain, you've got your temporal lobe, which plays with auditory information. And underneath that, at the very base of your brain, you have your cerebellum and brainstem, which connects your brain to the spinal cord and in turn to the rest of your body. This brainstem is also critical in involuntary, unconscious processes, like breathing. Now this central nervous system may be a pivotal focus point of the human nervous system. However, it can't work alone. And just like peripheral vision, there's a whole peripheral nervous system tirelessly slaving away out of the limelight. Within the peripheral nervous system, the somatic nervous system receives information from your senses using sensory receptors, transmits that information to the central nervous system, and then communicates the response back to your body's motor pathways to instigate the reaction. That's the element of your peripheral nervous system that you may be consciously aware of. Just as important, though, is your autonomic nervous system, which keeps your internal processes in check without you ever having to be aware of what's going on. This is achieved through the combined forces of the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. The sympathetic nervous system stimulates your body, whilst the parasympathetic nervous system returns your body to rest. The pair work together to maintain homeostasis, or optimal internal conditions. If you're finding it hard to remember which is which, picture this scenario. You're walking in a beautiful savanna, happy as Larry, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, an irate lion roars into sight. You've got two people watching you from a safe distance. One of them starts stressing and panicking as if they were you, and the other remains calm and coolly collected. Which of these people would you say is the sympathetic one? It's the same answer when talking about your autonomic nervous system. Try watching this video again with the screen minimized. This time, draw the diagrams as I talk about each part of the system. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to Psychology Unlocked, what are you waiting for? Click subscribe now for more about the fascinating world of psychology. And if you've got any comments, I look forward to reading them in the comments below.